Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, I am so excited, not only because it's nice and warm in the kitchen with all of the lights, but because we're making something special today with, well, leftovers, mashed potatoes, mushroom soup, some hamburger. Oh, just wait until you see what we've got cooking. But you know what? You know, one of the things that it's going to do, it's going to keep your tummy warm. But for now, we're going to bring Old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. 84% of people in the survey say Obamacare is the, well, will be the most important piece of legislation, even surpassing Social Security. Oh, I know. Rex wanted to be around for that this morning because everybody knows Rex worships the ground the president walks on. But when I say anything disparaging, I always have to cover Rex's little ears. Okay, it turns out that 84% of the people that were in the poll were all uh, members of the Democratic Party and are to the left wing of the party. The 15% that didn't say it was going to be the most important piece of legislation ever, happened to have been Republicans. I mean, you have 84% Democrats, 15% Republicans, 1% undecided. That's a poll that's not, uh, it, it's a piece of garbage is what it amounts to. And then the, um, what happens is last Tuesday, Judge Kennedy voted against a, an act that forced a mandate upon people our businesses. They said the, the Congress of the United States overstepped its bounds when it created a mandate. And so it is logical that if last Tuesday he said the government overstepped its bounds with one mandate, they overstepped their bounds on all mandates. Mm -hmm. And SEC takes Wells Fargo to court to enforce subpoenas. Well, yeah, because Obama wants to crush every bank in the country. See, Wells Fargo didn't borrow money from the president. Mm -hmm. And therefore, he wants them under his thumb also, so he's basically trying to bust the company uh, with uh, lots of subpoenas against it. And Democrats making a race issue out of the killing of a kid in Florida. Okay, the problem is, is that the Democrats, well, Obama cannot win the election without the Latino vote. They have decided that the Latino that did the killing happens to be a white racist. What? Yeah, they're trying to frame it that he's a white racist. The Latinos all know he's a Latino, folks. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to, you know, basically they're pissed off about the fact, and they're all, all of a sudden now he seems to have witnesses to his effect, and he is demand, his people are demanding that the kid's court record. They said if this kid was such a bastion of, of, uh, of greatness, why was he, why did, why was he expelled from school? Why was he hanging around on street corners? Why was he doing this? And uh, that has been neglected because the people. Well, Bill O'Reilly, we're going to get it. We're going to investigate. We're going to get to the end of why he he murdered this kid. Mm -hmm. They didn't say they you know, alleged. They, they're now saying murdered on the right because they think they've got something. And when the press think they have something, they beat it to death, even if they don't even have anything. In France, to resume election race after Gunman's death. Oh well, yeah, uh, yeah, they stopped the break. Well, it, it, basically, it, it worked to the advantages of Sarkozy in France to have this drag on because it give him time to pressure more people. And Obama is getting tough with China and North Korea. I know, I've got to cover Rex's ear again. Uh, he is threatening the Chinese who own most of the debt of this country and whom supply us with a god-awful amount of stuff that we use. We're going to put trade sanctions on you and you better live with it. And the North Koreans, if you don't do what I tell you, I'm not going to send you food. Well, they already sent the food. They, they did. Everyone in the world but Obama knew that the North Koreans would, you give us the food and the money and we're going to be nice people. Mm -hmm. Well, as soon as they got the food and the money, they're not nice people anymore. And Pope's trip sparks hopes for change in Cuba. It's called fat chance because what happened was they moved everybody out of the way of the Pope that was uh, anti-government. Only people you see are people cheering the Castros. And China's ZTE to curtail business in Iran. Not really, because that's where they get their oil from. <laughs> yeah, so that's not likely to happen, folks. And parents of slain Florida teens speak at New York rally. Oh yeah, basically they're trying, they are really working their rear ends off to make a racist thing out of this. First of all, as, as the, the no less than Attorney General of the United States says, you can't be racist unless you're white. And since uh, this, is a, this is a very dark-skinned Latino that did it, 
a, you can't claim racism because it, uh, a white person can only be racist, minorities cannot be. Which is, folks, why I, my mommy's an Indian mm -hmm. and my grandmother on two sides of my family are Indians and the Internal Revenue Service lists me as an Indian so I can't be a racist no matter what I do. And New York police suggestors and arrest six. Well, yeah, because they just, um, they're, they're planning on uh, May Day. Here's a good one. May Day is, 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 the, is the day of the socialist. They intend to disrupt all businesses in this nation on May Day and are wanting all unions to shut down every business in this nation to show the power of the 99%. That, that not going to happen, folks. An Army reviewing traumatic stress diagnostic practices. Well, yeah, they might try, you know, reviewing and sending a person back into battle with a brain injury. Mm -hmm. That's sort of not, uh, you know, they basically, it, it gets you bounced out of the military when they find out that you put a person with a brain injury back into the field of battle. And breakaway Mormon sect ex-leader begins Texas bigamy trial. Yeah, well, they've already found most of the other people innocent. Okay, here's the problem is, under the, under the gay rights laws that their states are passing, it basically negates the laws that they have against bigamy. So therefore, you've got problems now because they, well, it's called the Democratic Party uh, rule of unintended consequences. When you change one thing, it, sometimes it goes across the whole area. And if, if gay marriage is legal, then why can't a guy that happens to love his dog be legal? And it is now. And four convicted in major California bank fraud identity. Well, yeah, basically they were going, they were grabbing people's credit card receipts and all this stuff and then draining their bank accounts. Oh, really? Yep. And police arrest suspect in killing a five in San Francisco, is it San, San Francisco or San Fernando home? Uh, San Fernando home. Uh, you know, but basically, you know, they, 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 what they did is they go out and go after a family member all the time because even if the family member happened to be on national television in a, in a Thursday night football game, he did the killing. Ruined a guy's football career with that one, folks. And 7.2 magnitude earthquake rocks central Chile. Oh, that, that country gets hit with more earthquakes than you can shake a stick at. Well, really? I mean, it's, the, it's called the land of a uh, thundering rock. And Santorum calls Romney the worst Republican to face Obama. Oh, yeah, because they don't, okay, he can't take the, he, Romney's whole plan is based on, well, they have to vote for me because as bad as I am, I'm better than Obama. Well, he created the basis for Obamacare. He raised taxes multiple times in, in Massachusetts. Why do you think they threw him out as governor after one term? The people didn't want Romney care, so they booted his butt out. And churchgoers don hoodies in honor of Trayvon Martin. Okay, the problem is, is generally if you're, if, you should, if you're in a spot you shouldn't be in and you're wearing your hood over your head, it tends to make people think you're a gang member. That's a signal, folks. And Vodka Company apologizes for questionable ad. I wouldn't apologize to anybody. I mean, it's the only thing I agree with Bill Maher. Last week he put out a press release. He said, this is ridiculous. He said, everybody's apologizing for everything. He said, whatever happened to freedom of speech? So that's where he is right. For once, Bill Maher is actually right on something. Oh. And a key question in Penn State case, who is victim two? Oh, I know. Uh, okay, they now only have one victim in the Sandusky case, one, and that victim is questionable. So they, uh, if nobody else is going to come forth, it looks like they may have ruined a lot of people's lives for hearsay evidence. Well, we know this happened, but not, they weren't there. The people that all knew it were not were never there. So, and Pennsylvania trial could unveil church practices. Yeah, because uh, what happens is somebody is taking um, church, like the Catholic Church, to trial. They know what the Catholic Church practices are. They they have a lot of gay guys as, as, uh, that aren't as gay as they think they are. Oh, really? Yeah, and, and the priest and stuff. And Brazil police hunt gang of blondes kidnappers. Oh, yeah, for about a, a decade, blonde, attractive blonde women have been knocking over tourists to get money from them. Was that new? <laughs> it's always done. <laughs> what do they call them? Yeah. <laughs> Twitter can help predict winners and losers on the stock market. Um, well, basically what happens is the people that, that, that they twit the most about certain stocks, those are the stocks that are going to go up and stocks that they're not talking much about tend to go down. But that's, they're using Twitter as a means to get instant communication back and forth on, on purchases of things. 
And seaweed toast can help you eat less, the study. Well, yeah, because seaweed, we, we, you know, we've talked about this before, there's no calories in seaweed, folks. There's I know, there really calories. isn't. It's basically, it's got to be a god-awful salty piece of bread. But I also, I used to love salt rice and bread, bread, which you can't buy anymore. And a Monty bubble is in front of the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. Uh, Basically, when it comes to the stock market, if it looks too good to be true, it probably means they're using the inverse program, which means when the stocks are going up, they use a program to turn the stocks down that shouldn't be going up. When they're going down, they use it and turn the stocks up that are going down. Because the President of the United States wants this economy to be booming. 